Hello everyone, I'm Peanut Dream and welcome back to Pokemon Phoenix Rising. Um, in this episode, I think we are supposed to go to a farm, Thread Farm, I think. And also try to see if there are any fighting types over there. Which reminds me that I need to buy some Pokeballs, maybe? Because I don't think I have any, no. Let's just buy six. Ooh, what is a travel pack? Wait a minute. I don't recognize that. Everything a traveler should need on their long journey in Hawthorne. Consumable travel pack used for one fast travel trip. Ah, sh sure. I've got nothing to lose. But okay, yeah. I don't know if there, um, if I'm going to get any Pokeballs. Probably because it's a Pokemon game and they always like to give you some stuff for free. But let's let's just be sure of ourselves. Ooh, I like your hair. I heard some gatehouses have shops in them, so I came here. Not this one, it seems. Hmm, maybe there's something in the trash. No, I can't. I can't even touch the trash can. What a disgrace. I love movies. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a movie. Yes, you do you, kid. North of here is Thread Farm. Beyond that is, well, mostly water, I think. Hello. Fui. Fui, fui. Fui, fui, fui. Hey, let's have a fight. Oh, there was a tutorial that I didn't see. I think it told me to push Z. I think it said that as in to speed up the battle, I guess. Youngster Oliver would like to battle. Yes, give me that sand thread and I will destroy it. Completely. Let's see, I think... Yes, the speed up the battle thing. Here you go. Ember. Whoa, such such an exciting battle, such... Mm, it's so hard. Wow. Whoa, a second Pokemon. Whoa, it's getting harder and harder. And... Mm, you know what, I'm just going to let this battle play out because this means that you can enjoy the sprites of this burning bird. Of this roasted chicken. That is using sand attack, which I don't like because that means that it's going to take even longer. Hey, Brad, please get your stuff together and hit that Pidgey. Thanks. Yeah, okay. Sure. Hey, defeated him. Damn, gotta catch more Pokemon. Yeah, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Oh, hmm, I'm seeing that ball and I suddenly remember seeing a Pokeball in the town. Wait, let, mm, let, let, let me just go and get that real quick before I forget it. Here we go. That's mine. Oh, hey, guess I got a Pokeball after all. Aha, also I didn't go in any of the houses, so maybe there are some more hidden Pokeballs. Or did I actually go into the houses? Everybody wants to be proud of their family members. My grandson is supposedly a powerful trainer, inspiring everybody he meets. As his grandmother, I simply remember him as a sprightly young child who would help me tend crops and ask the most adorable questions. Thank you for listening. Use this on a Pokemon you wish to care for. Oh. Thanks for another bowl, I guess. Maybe this dude as well? My daughter idolizes her older brother, all because he's a trainer. She knows that I train Pokemon too, but I suppose farming Pokemon aren't hip. Nope, they're not hip with the kids. Yeah. When I get big, I'm gonna be a trainer, just like my big brother. My dad trains Pokemons too, but his are boring. Hey, excuse you, there isn't a single Pokemon that's boring, okay? Even Stunfisk and Quillfish are the most interesting Pokemon ever. Oh hey, another ball, haha. Ha 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 ha, I totally didn't miss all of these. Ha ha ha, ha ha. 
Anyway. Do you have a ball too? Yeah, great that you can see that I'm a noob. Cool. Can I get any more balls from this house, perhaps? Maybe? You're from Nocturne Town. Do you happen to know Professor Lotus? Yes. Really? Well, here's a bit of gossip. I would babysit Professor Lotus when she was a child. Interesting, right? She has loved Pokemon for as long as I've known her. She never slept very well, but she loved to color with my Sentret. Cute, right? Now she's a professional, but we see each other from time to time. Cool, do you have a ball in your trash? No, but it smells alright, and I guess that's great too. Anywho, I think there... yes, there's one more house over here. Oh, and some berries that I somehow missed, hello. Oh, so there is a fighting type. Yeah, of course it's made up. Can I get these things? No, they're just ground berries, I guess. Petcha berries, yes, gimme. Cool, cool, plant the dose. Let's say hi to the, these guys. Whoa, you can't go through here right now. A tractor broke down and we're still trying to move it. Come back later. Sure, dude, sure, why not? Okay. La last place I'm going to visit before I go to the farm, I promise. Ooh, another ball. I'm just stealing a ball from someone's table, why not? Hey, who said you could take that? Just kidding, I'm the PP guy. The PP guy? Yes, are you, are you sure that you're the PP guy? Forget I said that. <laughs> no. Dozens upon dozens of used up adders and elix elixir e elixirs. Yes, I can definitely talk. There's a lot of pee pee in there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, thread farm. Here we go. Here we are. Let's say hi to this good old dude. This here silo is for storing grain. Don't go playing in it, you hear? <laughs> you can tell me what to do, but this game can, I guess, because it doesn't allow me to go in there. Okay, let's say hi to this dude or not. Let's Okay, let's encounter another Talo. What do you think, guys? Should I catch a Talo? Should I? I mean, Talo are pretty cute. But I also want to wait with catching Pokemon for a bit. I'm not sure. I, I really don't know what I want to put in my party, actually. Hmm. Maybe I want to put that one fighting type that seems to be somewhere here on this farm in my team. You know, that could be cool. Just uh, a very cool fighting type, which I don't know what it is. But maybe it's something plot related or whatever. It's probably just going to be um, a matchup or something. You know, something that's not really that exciting. Although, you know, this game already had some great starters. So maybe they'll also have great encounters. I mean, they already did with cool stuff such as Sentret and Tato. So, I mean... It probably will actually be a cool fighting type, maybe? Anyway, let's just speed it up. Oh, well, I guess no need to speed it up because that was the entire fight. Hey, please let me just... <gasps> oh, that looks so cute. I, I'm going to catch it. Please don't die from one ember. Please. No. Mm, that was exactly what I did not want to happen. Ah, that's too bad. Ooh, a rare candy. I am going to treasure that forever and ever until my Pokemon are a high level and I get bored of grinding. Well, hello there, don't step in the mud. 
You can tell me what to do, mister. If I want to step in the mud, then I'm going to step in the mud. Oh no, please tell me that the mill tank doesn't know roll out. I mean, okay, to be completely honest, I have never had any problems with um, Whitney's mill tank. Like, okay, I didn't play gold and silver when I was a kid because I didn't have a Game Boy or anything, but I did play hard gold and I had not one single problem with that mill tank. And also not with this one because it only used tackle, so that's cool, I guess. Sure, why not? I should heal my Pokemon. You know, maybe let's let's do that and then return. Sounds like a plan? Yeah? Sounds like a plan. And you know what? Instead of just being like, hey, I'm going to quickly run to the Pokemon Center and resume. I'm just going to leave it off here for now because I'm cool like that. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.